Veikra, Leviticus 8. And Yahuwah spoke unto El Moshe, saying, Take at Aharon and at his sons with him, and at the garments, and at the anointing oil, and at a bullock for the sin offering, and at two rams, and at a basket of matzah, and gather at all the assembly together unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And Moshe did as Yahuwah commanded him, and the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And Moshe said unto the assembly, This is the thing which Yahuwah commanded to be done. And Moshe brought at Aharan and at his sons and washed them with water. And he put upon him at the coat and girded him with the belt and clothed him at with the robe and put at the ephod upon him. And he girded him with the belt of the ephod and bound it unto him therewith. And he put at, rather, and he put the at breastplate upon him. Also he put in the breastplate at the urim and at the tumim. And he put at the turban upon his head, also upon the turban, even upon his forefront, did he put at the golden plate, the holy crown, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And Moshe took at the anointing oil, and anointed at the tabernacle, and at all that was therein, and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, and anointed at the altar, and at all his vessels, both at the laver, and at his foot, to sanctify them. And he poured of the anointing oil upon Aharon's head and anointed him to sanctify him. And Moshe brought at Aharon's sons and put coats upon them and girded them with belts and put bonnets upon them as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he brought at the bullock for the sin offering. And Aharon and his sons laid at their hands upon the head of the bullock for the sin offering. And he slew it, and Moshe took at the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger and purified at the altar and poured at the blood at the bottom of the altar and sanctified it to make reconciliation upon it. And he took at all the fat that was upon the inwards and at the call above the liver and at the two kidneys and at their fat and Moshe burned it upon the altar. But at the bullock, and at his hide, at his flesh, and at his dung, he burnt with fire, without the camp, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he brought at the ram for the burnt offering, and Aharon and his sons laid at their hands upon the head of the ram, and he killed it. 
and Moshe sprinkled at the blood upon the altar round about. And he cut at the ram into pieces, and Moshe burnt at the head, and at the pieces, and at the fat. And he washed at the inwards, and at the legs in water. And Moshe burnt at the whole ram upon the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice for a sweet savor, and an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And he brought at the other ram, the ram of consecration. And Aharon and his sons laid at their hands upon the head of the ram, and he slew it. And Moshe took of the blood of it and put it upon the tip of Aharon's right ear and upon the thumb of his right hand and upon the great toe of his right foot. And he brought at Aharon's sons and Moshe put of the blood upon the tip of their right ear and upon the thumbs of their right hands and upon the great toes of their right feet. And Moshe sprinkled at the blood upon the altar round about. And he took at the fat and at the rump and at all the fat that was upon the inwards, and at the call above the liver, and at the two kidneys, and at their fat, and at the right shoulder, and out of the basket of matzah that was before Yahuwah, he took one matzah cake, and a cake of oiled bread, and one wafer, and put them on the fat, and upon the right shoulder. And he put at all upon Ahran's hands, and upon his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before Yahuwah. And Moshe took them from off of their hands and burnt them on the altar upon the burnt offering. They were consecrations for a sweet savor. It is an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And Moshe took at the breast and waved it for a wave offering before Yahuwah. For of the ram of consecration, it was Moshe's part, as Yahuwah commanded at Moshe. And Moshe took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled it upon at Aharan and at his garments and at upon his sons and upon at his sons' garments with him and sanctified Aharan and his garments and his sons and his sons' garments with him. And Moshe said unto El Aharan and to his sons, Boil at the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly. And there eat it at with the bread that is in the basket of consecrations, as I commanded, saying, Aharon and his sons shall eat it. And that which remains of the flesh and of the bread shall ye burn with fire. 
and ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the assembly in seven days until the days of your consecration be at an end. For seven days shall he at consecrate you. As he has done this day, so Yahuwah has commanded to do it, to make an atonement for you. Therefore shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the assembly, day and night, seven days, and guard at the watch of Yahuwah, that ye die not, for so I am commanded. So Aharon and his sons did at all things which Yahuwah commanded by the hand of Moshe. Chapter 14 